Yeah. But Hereditary, I really appreciated. Um, I think that one thing about, like, those types of movies, like horror movies and stuff, is that it in it has the potential to either be really campy or to deliver, like, some kind of, like, full-blown emotional experience. And I think that that is actually a, a defining factor or one of the defining factors that I would say that art needs to have, you know? Like, in order for something to be art, I feel like it needs to, like, affect affect me or, like, cause me to, like, um, cause me to, like, find myself in it somehow. Ah, that's, that's wild because I feel like art's one of those terms that's so slippery of, of trying to get a definition on. I agree. And the idea that art would have to, one of the elements of art is that it has to move. I feel like though the moment I establish that there's going to be someone who says just because you said that I'm going to make the most blase art ever just so it doesn't move you. But isn't that still moving though? Like people buy paintings that have like literally there was a painting that I heard about where a woman climbed to the top of a ladder and dropped a, a paint splotch on the canvas from like you know like the top of the ladder and it sold for like a lot. You know, but it's kind of like, I think that it has to do with tastes, you know, like maybe um, I would find a stop sign to be something of art to me, but another person might argue that stop sign can't be art because it's too utilitarian. Dude, so where does that leave us? What is art? I don't know, dude. What do you think art is? It seems really subjective. Like there's just going to be no... There's, there's okay, just, but like, I feel like it's going to purposely. If, you, if we were just playing though, like you know, like if you were just playing and like examining the subject. Yeah, well, I am playing and examining the subject, and I feel like uh, art is actually a. Um, it feels to me like it's the only way to not get caught in my own words and say something that can be contradicted is to say that art is a reflection of the mystery. It's, it's actual contradiction in terms and that the moment the moment it looks to be defined it it redefines the being defined yeah it's kind of it almost seems like art is is that little slippery thing that's just con you almost have the tail of and you almost turn it around and think you're gonna see the face of it and be like aha yeah and you're just like you you then you're just pointing at some poop and someone's laughing at you. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then there's a whole crowd that just hopes you lick it. And you're like, what? But why could like uh, art be that way, but like a tree not be that way, or like a building, or like a toilet? Well, I think what I was saying is those would all be. I, I guess at some point it's a weird thing because I guess everything's art. I don't know if that's the case, though, because I think that, you know, like, um... Well, people are definitely... What do you think... You know you know, there's going to pe be people that are going to be like, it has to do with intention. Yeah. But at the same time, you just set a stop sign, which was probably not intended as art, and yet you could certainly look... If you dug it up in a few thousand years, it, it could certainly be looked at. Hmm, interesting. Do you think that um, art could be something that would need reflection well I don't think so I'm just curious because you know like we've talked about how like you have this experience where when you talk to people about their psychedelic experiences or they're like kind of like facing unity or God or whatever you want to call it um, you dislike that they say I don't know it's just indescribable I, well, that's just a, a certain quirk that, yeah, it annoys me when people are, when, when people <laughs> revert to like the, the experience with the ultimate as ineffable. Yeah. There's no words for it because I mean, this is just me on a tangent, but I'm like, there's actually no words for anything. The, the most mundane, blase, run of the mill experience, there are no words for because, I mean, words are... Because I guess what I'm saying is words are just an attempt to try to transform experience into these little these little thought uh, pills <laughs> or something like that. Like these little, these little thought blocks that the that. other person can comprehend 
and the tool to accomplish those blocks is language. Mm -hmm. So at all moments, whenever we're using words, we're trying to take this panorama of inexplicable totality and stick it in these little like comprehensible blocks with using language. And so why is it all of a sudden then there's like this experience of ultimate reality that there's no <laughs> words for I can't possibly explain it. like that's what poetry is for just yeah. use some poetry and say some stupid shit because that's all we're ever doing ever true and yeah I totally agree with okay. that I guess do you think that you could apply that concept to art though where like even if you were just playing and like being like okay but like art is I mean I don't even know like could you describe art as a human creation do animals make art do you think well, okay, so... Because everything breaks down at smaller blocks, you know? Like, it's not like everything is the universe right now. Like, well, I mean, it is, yeah. but it's also not, like... I don't have the same chemicals as you do in your body right now. Or, like, you know, like... Oh, your, your mood rant, your mood's changing. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're blue now. That means relaxed. Oh, okay. I thought <laughs> and it lovable. was... <laughs> relaxed lovable but there's a small bit of green coming in which means oh that's um, there's anxiety deep within the uh -huh. recesses of your maternal your maternal concerns My but maternal okay concerns. so if I was gonna I feel like what you're asking me to do is not be so open-ended because like I'm I feel like I'm a little bit intimidated to get trapped. Like as soon, I feel like as soon as I say this is art, yeah, it goes over like, here. Non but non-disclosure, this is completely. But like if I based. let's just yeah, let's yeah. just. Should I put myself in a museum or should I put myself walking around town? And this is Durango, Colorado. It's got a lot of art galleries. But like, give me the frame of reference so that I can be like, okay, if I'm walking downtown Durango, mm -hmm. what's art? Um, I'm probably going to definitely uh, tend towards stuff that was intentioned to be where the person's like, I'm an artist. Yeah. <laughs> and here's my art. <laughs> so I guess that's more or less what I default to is, is the people who intend their thing to be artistic. Yeah. Although... That's really interesting. What, is artistic different than art? I don't know, because I feel like artistic is almost like a psychological component or like something that um, might be like a pattern of being or thinking, same as like um, being spiritual or something, or like being, um, like being of a certain path, but I think that um, art... What is bad art? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I know. I've actually considered this quite a lot just because it's like when you're watching a movie or like when I'm watching a movie, it's like even if I'm watching it and I'm like, fuck, this movie is fucking shit. Like I can't even believe they would show it in the theaters. Like there was so much time and money and practice and psychological tension and anxiety and like, you know, fever that went into, and fervor that went into making that movie, like, I can barely, I mean, I have no experience in making, like, full movies, like, I don't understand, and to say that it's a bad movie is, like, kind of, like, irrelevant or, like, naive, you know, and so, like, I, I know, it's just, like, a, it's a really weird concept, or, like, to say something's, like, bad music, I think that it, it, it has a lot more, I think, to do with um, the set and setting of the person, um, meaning, like, how they've grown up, you know, what kind of experience they were born into, like, um, what they've been introduced to, what they find comfortable, um, what they've allowed themselves to find comfortable, then it has to do with the actual music or the movie or the art. If... If a stay-at-home mom is walking by our car at this park yes. and she just suddenly drops her nail polish and stares right at me and runs over to the car and farts in my face, just bomb blasting, just all up, all up in this. Yeah. That same scenario, now she does it to your face. Which one is art and which one is more artful? 
in your experience? Well, I don't know, because I think that what you said about intention rings really true for me. Like, you know, it, if neither of us had the idea in our head, like, oh, like, she's doing this because she wants it to be artistic or because she wants it to be art. Um, not that those two terms are interchangeable, but right now I'm using them that way. Yeah. Um, then, like, I don't think e either of us might conceive of it as art. Well, the Unless we had the mindset, too. Like, if we were like, all right, everything that happens today is art, art. you know? Well, I, here's... I, I don't know if I did such a great job, but kind of what was on my mind was, like, when that woman comes over mm -hmm. and farts on your face, that is art. To you. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's fabulous. Yeah. When she does that to me, she needs to go to prison immediately <laughs> but you're probably having a ball and so i was just thinking like how subjective the experience yeah. is it's like it's always art to someone else at some point or at right. least it, even in the but what about this the greatest art there has not yet been a human being that recognized it as art and it's waiting for that one person to go that's art yeah and then everyone's like ten thousand dollars oh <laughs> Peace prize. Yeah. Actually, one thing that, an interesting thing that I've thought about art is that, um, it, I don't think this was always the case, but I think that, um, like the forest and like, I don't know, like what people, some people term as like nature and stuff is, um, becoming seen more and more as art, you know, like, whereas like once like we may have just like, you know, experienced like being inside of it, surviving off of it. Like, perhaps a difference could be that it's much more utilitarian in that sense, you know? Like, what can I gather from it? Like, what are you, what's going to hurt me from it? And now I feel like when I walk around the woods, because I'm in comfort already, like, I, don't, I got, like, my water pack on, I got, like, a flashlight, I got, like, my coat on, like, I don't need anything to survive off of the forest, you know? I'm just, like, I'm set, you know? I don't need anything from the forest. And I don't know, I think that it's kind of interesting because I f actually feel like even though... My views really... Like, are you saying, like, art is... Well, I mean, uh, my views really... Let me finish real fast. Because my views really vary when it comes to environmental topics. But I think that one of the things that is uh, decreasing our ability to empathize with, understand, or want to participate in the balance of an, eco an, of an ecology is actually that we are seeing it more and more as like something that we can just like enjoy like for you know just kind of like the fun of it like the it's pleasurable like it's just kind of something that we don't even have to do we can just do for fun, you know just pure like fuck off and i think that at one point it was like really important that nature was in balance so that we could survive off of it but i just that's occurred in my mind when i think of environmental um, topics.